All right, this topic is an important comma topic for the ACT, and it's just simply commas around non-essentials. And what I mean by non-essential is something that we don't really need in a sentence. Um, if we ever have the opportunity to surround a non-essential word or a phrase with commas, we should probably take it. It's probably right. So if we see a choice like choice D here with a word surrounded by commas, we want to read it and see if it sounds like good English to us, and then we want to give it a couple of technical tests as well. So let's see if D sounds good Eng like good English to us. Not all viruses, however, straighten themselves out. All right, that sounds pretty good to me. Hopefully it does to you too. But we do want to give it a couple of tests. The first test is, can we remove the surrounded phrase? Well, let's try that. Will this, and when I say, can we remove it? I mean, will the sentence still make sense without it? So not all viruses straighten themselves out. Yeah, that makes sense. So we get a check there, passes test one. Um, there's a couple other tests too that we want to give it though as well. Um, because just because a sentence still makes sense if we remove uh, something that's surrounded with commas doesn't mean we can surround that thing with commas. It still has to kind of be non-essential and Another way to kind of think of it uh, is, you know, is it sort of parenthetical information? Can we put parentheses around it? Well, let's try it. If we put parentheses around, however, not all viruses, however, straighten themselves out. Yeah, it kind of works. It's a little easier to hear that happen if it was a phrase and not just one word. But um, we just kind of have to get the, the feel that it's not essential information, that it is kind of by the way information like that we could sort of separate with parentheses. And then another test you can do is you can kind of read the thing in a different tone. Um, so let's try it for this one. Not all viruses, however, straighten themselves out. Kind of a different tone. You know, it's again easier to hear if it's a whole phrase as opposed to just one word. But uh, the keys are, can we take it out? Does the sentence still make sense? Is it kind of by the way information as opposed to central information? You know, in other words, is it by the way, information that we can sort of enclose in parentheses because it's just explaining, and would we use a different tone of voice? These are all clues that we can surround the non-essential phrase with commas, and we should look for the opportun we should look for opportunities to do that on the, on the ACT because it does happen a lot.